Hey guys, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Wow, can you believe it? It has been around three weeks since my last video. Has it been a month? I don't know. Three weeks to a month. Well, it has been a long time. It finally happened. After two years of being extremely careful, I finally got the coronavirus. A few weeks ago, Japan was going through its biggest peak in coronavirus history. So it was just a matter of time. Many of my friends were getting it and we had just dropped off a bag of groceries for a friend who caught the virus. Just to let you know, we've been vaccinated and had been boosted once we got boosted back in february so it has already been over six months we haven't gotten the second booster because well it's not available to us yet just because japan does things differently and it's just the whole process is just a lot slower of course we all know that the vaccinations don't prevent you from getting the coronavirus but it claims that it helps keep symptoms mild and that's exactly what we experienced. The whole point of making this video is to tell you that personally, good things came out of this experience. Don't get me wrong, this is not something that I wish upon anyone. This is from, this is just personal experience. Do we know where or when we caught the virus? I think so. You guys know that we've always had a busy schedule. If, if you've been following our channels for uh, more than a year, you, you know how busy we are. So I was feeling extremely overwhelmed and I felt like I needed to stay at a hotel for a couple of days so that I could work in a different environment. I thought this might help me mentally because I was just feeling very stressed. So I made reservations at the Hilton Hotel in Shinjuku, which is not far from where we live. And we decided to stay a couple of nights there. Upon check-in, they upgraded us to their executive level room, which we were very stoked about. Um, first of all, the rate, the room rates was very, very reasonable. It was around 10,000 yen, which is less than 100 US dollars for the both of us per night. And because we were upgraded to the executive room, we were allowed access to the lounge, which included breakfast as well as cocktails between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. For breakfast, we had a choice of room service or enjoying the, the breakfast buffet that was happening in their main restaurant. So we decided for variety, we'd have room service one day and have breakfast at the restaurant the second day. First day at the hotel, we went to the lounge for cocktails and that wasn't too bad. Uh, the lounge wasn't crowded at all and uh, Satoshi enjoyed a couple of beers and wine while I enjoyed soft drinks and tea. The next day we had room service and we just kind of chilled in the room, had a leisurely breakfast. It was very nice. At 5 p.m. we decided to go to the lounge again to enjoy some drinks, but this time the lounge was extremely crowded. In fact, it was so crowded we took the last two seats. We were seated between two other couples and we were a little bit afraid because there was no ventilation and we we're seated pretty close to each other. And so we decided after just one drink to leave just because we weren't comfortable. We had dinner at a nearby izakaya. We were the only customers there, so that was fine. We had a good night's sleep. We woke up for breakfast the next morning and we were seated next to a couple from the US. It was pretty obvious they were from the US because of their accent. And also the lady was talking about her Chanel bag not being delivered promptly at her hometown, which was, I don't remember the city, Chicago, I'm not sure. The breakfast was good. The breakfast was really nice. Hilton always does good breakfast. However, once again, we felt very uncomfortable because we were seated very close to the couple next to us and the fact that the lady kept coughing throughout the whole meal and she never not even once covered her mouth while coughing and this is very uncomfortable for us we're not used to this because here in Japan when people cough they always cover their mouth uh, with, with a handkerchief or their, their hand at least so just the fact that someone was coughing 
throughout the whole meal, you know, so openly and it was just very uncomfortable. We tried not to think too much of it and we decided to just enjoy the breakfast and, you know, just have a good time. So two days passed, we did our normal thing, you know, editing videos, filming, etc. And then day three came around and that's when Satoshi started to have symptoms. He woke up with a sore throat, he was coughing, and he had a slight fever. And we were wondering, uh-oh, could this be, you know what? But just to be on the safe side, as we've been throughout the pandemic, Satoshi slept in the bedroom while I confined myself to the living room. For the next couple of days, we kind of treated it like he had the virus. I would prepare his meals, uh, keep it outside the door on a small table and then when he's done he texts me and I come get it We use paper plates disposable uh, chopsticks and on the second day I just had to go out and uh, Buy a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, I went out twice so that I could buy Groceries I could buy easy to make things uh, lots of sports drinks and water just in case I started to come down with symptoms. I also went to buy some self-test kits. I brought it home, I took the test, I came out negative. Uh, Satoshi took the test, I came out positive. Two days had passed since the first symptom started with Satoshi and then I started to feel kind of funny. I, I started having a sore throat and I felt a little bit feverish. I started to feel a little bit weak. However, I decided to just take it easy rest, not jump to conclusions, and uh, just see how I feel the next day. So next day comes and I'm feeling terrible and I'm thinking, okay, this definitely must be coronavirus. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, we were together the whole time. I don't know how it is in your country, but nowadays here in Japan, if you have any symptoms like fever, for example, you do have to call in beforehand and make an appointment before they see you. So we're very, very fortunate that we had one place that accepted uh, patients. Not surprisingly, we both tested positive. In fact, my results came back so quickly in a matter of seconds. And the nurse explained to me that that means I'm shedding a lot of virus, which means, you know, I was sort of at my peak, I guess, of, of the sickness. So we came home and by this time I was feeling pretty pretty terrible. I was feeling dizzy and I just felt like I, I, I just I was going to fall down flat on my face. It also didn't help that we had to wait outside. At least they had a chair but we had to wait outside in the hot sun waiting for our return. Fortunately around this time Satoshi started to recover and his fever wasn't as high as before and although he still had a sore throat and he was coughing, uh, it wasn't as bad. So after a good night's sleep, the next day, Satoshi felt well enough to do some laundry so he washed the sheet in the bedroom and he decided that we should switch. I should go into the bedroom while he goes into the living room. I was really grateful for this because the bedroom obviously that the proper bed is a lot more comfortable and very very grateful for that. It was around this time I decided that I was going to document my experience. Um, I was actually a little bit scared because even before the pandemic uh, I was very prone to catching colds and getting the flu and you know this was normal for me ever since I was a young kid. Some of my bouts with the flu was really, 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 really terrible. And there are a couple of times where doctor told me that I could have died. So yeah, I was worried, but I was also trying to keep myself in a positive state of mind and trying to be optimistic. You know, seeing Satoshi recover, um, I told myself that there is no reason why I shouldn't recover. Hello, everybody. So, um, Damn, damn, damn. <clears throat> Satoshi and I, we both got COVID. One good thing is that Satoshi <clears throat> caught the COVID earlier than I did for some reason. So he's able to walk around now. However, I just started having symptoms yesterday and I thought I was getting better this morning, but not really. I went to the 
the the neighborhood clinic today and I got a I got a test and yeah I, I'm definitely positive in fact my test came out so quickly like less than a minute so she said I'm shedding lots of virus at the moment here's my dinner for tonight this is kare raisu with some side dishes and pudding looks good I haven't made a video for this channel for about a couple of weeks now so I thought <clears throat> I should document this experience with COVID the Omicron most likely <sighs> mm. Mm. unfortunately my taste buds are kind of shot I can't really smell anything either. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Satoshi. Like I say, he's feeling a little better, but he's still very tired and he's coughing. And he's still, you know, tested positive for the virus. So he's still shedding virus, I guess. No oh boy. Oh boy. I'm so tired. I, I ate my curry. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna eat my dessert later. I, I don't feel like eating sweets for some reason, which is very rare for me. I got some fresh pineapples here from Okinawa. Thank you, Dennis, for sending these. Arigato. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, that's nice. Although, I can't fully enjoy the sweetness. I can kind of taste it. And I did try this when it arrived. At that time, I did still have my sense of smell. So I ate most of my food. I'm exhausted. I felt like I, I just came back from walking <laughs> 10,000 steps. Good morning, everybody. So, oh my gosh, this is, uh, I guess this would be day three uh, since I started getting symptoms for COVID. I gotta say, as soon as I got up, I immediately felt that it's worse today. My head is so heavy and my sinuses are completely clogged up and my fever is still at a steady 38 C. Oh, this sucks. So here's my breakfast. Thank you, Satoshi. I wanted cereal because it's easy to eat and some pineapples and a vitamin jelly drink. Hmm. Amazingly, I can taste the pineapple, but it tastes like chocolate. Mm. So it tastes like chocolate. What's your favorite cereal? Oh my gosh. I haven't had cereal in a while. I think though, if I don't get better by tomorrow, I asked Satoshi to buy some cereal. I think after this, we're all out of cereal. I really don't feel like eating anything substantial or hot. Vitamin drink. Originally, we ordered a whole bunch of these, like half a dozen, no, no, like a dozen of these from the online supermarket. So this might be the last one. Wow. What is this supposed to taste like? Grapefruit, it says. I don't taste anything. All right, let's, let's get rid of my temperature, my fever, shall we?
Okay, I should start feeling better. Alright guys, I'm sorry. I have to sleep. I have to sleep. I'll talk to you guys a little later when I have more energy, okay? You know what? I can actually smell. I can actually smell. It's not completely back, but I actually smell the food. So, okay, so this is the test. Can I taste the shumai? Mmm. Wow. My taste buds are not completely back, but it tastes so good. <laughs> the sweet potato. I wonder if I can taste the subtle sweetness of sweet potatoes now. Unfortunately, this one tastes weird to me. So is, does that mean my taste buds is distorted? Hmm. Hmm. That tastes like fermented food. <laughs> Obviously, I'm feeling a lot better. And I was also kind of impressed to see how the government takes care of us. For example, if you're sick and say you're living alone and you can't go out to buy groceries yourself, uh, then the government will actually send you a, 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 a pack, or should I say, bags of groceries uh, filled with uh, uh, ready-made food, um, instant rice, instant noodles, uh, you know, sports drinks, water, you know, things like that. I get a call from the call center of the, the ward that I live in and they check up on me. They ask me about my temperature, how I feel, what's my oxygen level, etc. And if there is anything else that they can do to help me. Today is actually the last day of my self-quarantine. Actually, actually it's tomorrow, but I think um, it's only until around noon time or something. And, and if nothing changes and I, I'm still like this healthy, then uh, self-quarantine is done. That although I don't wish the coronavirus on anyone, for me personally, it was a good thing. I feel like I needed this to happen because no matter how many times I told myself I need to take it easy, I need to find time to relax, I need to find time for myself, I wasn't able to. And this forced me to do so. Because I had so much time on my hands, it gave me time to think, it gave me time to refocus on myself, uh, my well-being, and it really reminded me that health and well-being is the most important thing. Of course, when I was really sick with a high fever and I was feeling extremely weak, I didn't have the energy to do anything else except to sleep and maybe sometimes watch Netflix on my smartphone. And because I finally had time, I decided to really think about my life, how I want to spend the rest of the year, think about how I can make things easier for myself in regards to work, and think of ways to continue making videos without jeopardizing my health. I do feel re-energized. I actually feel a lot better than even before I got sick. Before I got sick, I was actually always tired and I was having headaches, I, I, I was depressed, but for some reason, I, I just couldn't find the time to deal with these issues I was having. In addition to being grateful for my partner and for everything in my life, I am truly grateful to all of you guys uh, for watching our videos and for all the kind words. I know I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Without you guys, this wouldn't have any meaning for me. Deciding to become a full-time YouTuber has been the best decision I've made in my entire life. I never imagined that my life in my 50s was going to be this fulfilled, this satisfying, so full of love, so full of excitement, and I am ready to tackle my life full on, to enjoy my life to the fullest, and continue to 
make videos for you guys, hopefully videos that you guys will enjoy. Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys on my next video.